Here is the right lung right here. And here is the left lung. So when you look at the right lung versus the left lung, the right lung is going to have three lobes. So if you look at the right lung here, we have the superior lobe, we have the middle lobe, and then we have the inferior lobe. The left lung is going to have two lobes, superior and inferior. Next, we have the bifurcation of trachea right here. So here is the bifurcation of the trachea. This is the trachea right here and it's going to fork or bifurcate right here. So here is your right bronchus and left bronchus. We have the descending aorta right here. So this shows you the ascending aorta here. And then you can see the aortic arch is going to come down. This is the descending aorta or thoracic aorta. This structure right here is the esophagus. This is the diaphragm. And you can see the diaphragm better on these lungs here. You can see the actual muscle here. So here's a diaphragm here and here. So the diaphragm, remember, is going to divide the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity. Spleen is going to be in the left upper quadrant here. So here's the spleen. Right kidney is right here. And then you have the cortex of kidney. I'm going to take this off here. So here is your cortex. Goes around. And this inner part would be the medulla of the kidney where you have the pyramids. The Papilla part of the kidney would be right here at the tip end of the pyramid right there where the probe is. So this would show you a pyramid here and here is the papilla. Right renal artery pretty obvious right there here is your right renal artery. And then you have the um, left renal artery right there. And then we have the renal vein right there. We have the adrenal gland. So here is the adrenal gland right here. It's going to be on the superior aspect of the kidney and it's going to be pointed medially toward the inferior vena cava and the abdominal aorta. So here is the adrenal gland on the right side and here is the adrenal gland on the left side or suprarenal gland. So you see them both together here right adrenal gland or suprarenal gland, left adrenal gland or suprarenal gland. And right here we see the esophagus as I've already mentioned and here is the cut region right here uh, which is going to go into the stomach. The ureters. So the ureters are going to carry the urine down to the bladder. So here is the right ureter and then here is the left ureter here. 
So right ureter and left ureter. Liver. So if you look at the, let me take you over here. So here is this model uh, all together here. So you can see the liver right here. You can see the gallbladder on the inferior surface of the liver. And you can see the stomach here. And you can see the intestines here. And you can see the colon here. So here would be the ascending colon. And then your transverse colon and descending colon. Okay, so this structure right here is the liver. And in here you see the gallbladder or you have concentration of the bile. Now, we have the right lobe of the liver right here and then your left lobe of the liver And let me set this right here. Oh, you have your quadrate lobe and then caudate lobe right here. Quad, quadrate and then caudate uh, lobe right here. Now, this structure right here is the what? Vena cava. You can see that if you put it right here, so here's your vena cava right here. Ah, sorry about making you dizzy. And you and you'd be and you'd be able to see that it's going to go in like that. So here's where the liver is setting right here. And you can see that the vena cava is right there. Okay. Apologize for making you dizzy. Okay, let's look at some more structures. We have the common hepatic artery. That's this structure right here. This red structure here. Common hepatic artery. We have the hepatic portal vein. That's this purple structure here. Purple structure. Now when you look at the dissections, the hepatic portal system will be dyed yellow. And we have the common hepatic duct, which would be right there. And then we have the cystic duct right here. And then we have the gallbladder right here. So, cystic duct and then the gallbladder. Stomach. So, if you look right here, we see that the stomach is right here. Here's the liver. And here we can see the stomach here. Here is the cardiac orifice right here. And if you look right here, I showed you this esophagus coming through the diaphragm. And here you can see where it connects. Excuse me like that. So that would be the cardiac orifice. And then we have the um, fundus of stomach here. And this right here would be the greater curvature associated with the greater omentum. And then we have the um, lesser curvature right here. I forgot to mention that the greater omentum is like an apron or a sack of fatty uh, material uh, that's going to hang down like an apron that's going to 
hang down along the greater curvature. And this is a lesser curvature here. And there's some momentum there as well. But there's none visible in this model here. And then we have the pylorus right here. This is the pylorus. And if you look at the inside here, we have rugi. So this would be the cardiac orifice here. And this would be the pyloric sphincter here. Pancreas. So we have the pancreas right here. So here's your pancreas. And then we have the um, duodenum. So let me put this stomach back together. Oh, here's another stomach. So if you look, let me put this on here. So you can follow the food from the esophagus. And here you can see where the esophagus enters the, um, pierces through the diaphragm here. And then we see the cardiac sphincter or orifice right here. And then we see that the uh, food then goes, or this time it would be called chime, uh, goes through the stomach and then hits his sphincter right here called the pyloric sphincter. And then it goes into the first part of your stomach called your duodenum right here. So this is the duodenum right here. And if let me remove this uh, intestines here. You can see the pancreas here. So this is the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct. And there's um, secretions that's entering the duodenum right here from the pancreas. And what's not shown is the bile duct. Uh, would be entering as well in this duodenum area. Now, if you look at the other side here, you can see the duodenum as well. And here you can see a little bit of the um, bile duct here. And that's the hepatic portal vein right there. So, you can pretty much see the duodenum here. This is the pancreas, pancreatic duct. And then let's look at the portions of the intestines. So, right here we have the duodenum again. This is the jejunum right here. And then the lower part is called the ileum. And right here, this is not on this sheet, but this structure right here at the very end of the ileum, of the small intestines, you would have another sphincter in this area here called the ileocycle sphincter, where it goes into the um, uh, large intestines. So, you can see where they connect right here. So if you look right here, that's that structure I pointed to, and they connect right there. So right in here would be the ileocycal sphincter here, or valve. And it is on there. I'm sorry. You do have to know that one. So you do have to know the ileocycal sphincter or valve here. And this is the um, cecum right here. So this whole part right here is the cecum. And here you can see part of it cut and removed. And this exposes the ileocycle valve or sphincter. And I've already showed you this already. Um, so let me put this on here. 
here you can see it much better much better so we can see the cecum ascending colon transverse colon and descending colon sigmoid colon right here oh sorry about getting your view distorted so we have the cecum ascending colon transverse colon descending colon sigmoid colon and then it goes into the rectum which we can see right here part of it anyway right in there um, I think that's it oh I got one more thing to show you now I have one model that displays someone has had an appendectomy the removal of the appendix because it's not there because it should be right there and right here we see the appendix present so this is the appendix right here this is the appendix and yes you can live without your appendix 